All right, welcome back to the show. Let's get straight to the trivia question so we can get be done with this answer. Which Western New York village is Christian Leitner from? Angelica, Elba, Lewiston, or Angola? It's Angola. Look, Howard Smith, who was our former sports editor, this became so obvious that he actually had to put out a directive saying, Every single time that we mention Christian Leitner's name in the newspaper, we don't have to say that he's from Angola because everybody knows that. You could, if you did a survey of people in North Carolina, at over 35 years old, probably anywhere between North Carolina and here, or if you ever played basketball in your life, you're going to know that answer. All right, I'm done. Good job, Ben Sujimoto. Fine work. All right, we have Christian Leitner on the line, on the line right now, who's going to confirm, by the way, that he's from Angola. Christian, thanks for coming on the show. How's it going? Hey, Jerry. Hey, Bucky. Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. All right. Well, just not to get too technical, but it is Angola, right? You're not from the town of Evans? You know, you would... <laughs> People are probably going to say I'm going to make a mistake here. I don't know. But, yes, I live in the town of Evans. I grew up in the town of Evans, and I guess the village was Angola. But, yes, the town of Evans or Evans Center. There you go. See? Well, all villages these years are through. within towns. So that's some <laughs> revelation. Jeez. Know your geography. <laughs> you, are you talking to me or our guest here? I'm talking to you. Yeah, of I course you I wouldn't <laughs> criticize Christian. Christian, Lane. you have he no idea what it's like he to deal with Duke. this guy. There's a reason that... <laughs> Uh, to be, my, geog my geography is a little weak, too, so if a village is allowed in the town, then whatever. But uh, Evan, Evan Center in Angola, that's where I'm proudly from, yes. All right, well, we both would agree that Nichols School is in Buffalo, and your basketball camp is coming up again July 13th through the 15th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Nichols, where Christian Leitner uh, uh, went to high school, obviously. Obviously, everybody knows that, too, I'm sure. There's Christian Leitner Jim there. I was just there the other day for AAU. And Christian, how, uh, how much fun is it, first of all, for you to come back to Buffalo and, 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 and you know, see a lot of people and then also help a lot of young kids who really aren't even old enough to remember you as a player? Well, that's the thing that, that's the biggest joy for me is I get to coach all these young players from the Buffalo area. So that's the thing that brings me the biggest joy. And then, uh, you know, some other good side benefits is I'm up there. I get to see my family, my friends from high school. I'll spend some time in Lancaster and see my buddy, uh, Dr. Kevin Flanagan out there. I'll, see, I'll spend some time with my buddy, Jake Sapio from Nichols. And then I get to see my family, and I'm also going to get a chance to do some musky fishing this year. But like I said, the main thing that I enjoy and the reason why I'm up there is to do my basketball clinic. I love giving back some of the things that I learned from Coach K and my years in the NBA to some of the youth in the Buffalo area. Um, we got to ask you about that ESPN documentary, unless you want to say a little bit more about your uh, camp. Uh, but I thought it was fabulous, Christian. I was just wondering what you thought of it, because I thought it was kind of uh, flattering to you. And, and, and I thought it, it was kind of moving to me and that I was at a lot of the Duke games, those famous games. So I was just wondering, if you enjoyed it and uh, were happy they did it in the end. No, it was very, very flattering. I was happy they did it at the beginning, and I was happy they did it at the middle, and I just love the end product. And uh, every time I see the movie, I love it more and more. You know, it's a, a documentary about my life. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't love to have, um, you know, part of their life or their sports career on an ESPN 30 for 30 for movie? So I was honored. And the only hiccup in the whole process was the title, but besides <laughs> that, besides that, I think every everything is absolutely amazing, and I do I do not mind the title because of the way the movie ends. You know, the, the movie ends in such a way where I think there's a social commentary, which is, hey, try not to be a hater. It's not good to hate. Everyone knows that, and. Um, so don't be a hater, and I really like that social commentary, so um, I'm totally fine with the title, and the movie maker, Rory Karp, told me, you know, Christian, you're going to like it, and he was right. I just absolutely love it. Hey, Christian, you know what I thought? You know, I like the title, and the reason I like the title is because it, it goes to the extreme, and, and to me, it goes to the extreme of you being misunderstood. I think that Christian is one of the most misunderstood athletes of our time. And part of that, I think Christian would agree, is his doing. 
Part of it might have been by design, but what I know, and the people that I know that know him, would tell you that, that they're, the core of the person is just you or me or whatever, a Buffalo guy. How he was perceived was different, and why he was perceived, because he was good and because he went to Duke, that people just didn't understand who he was. Do you agree with that overall assessment? I do, and, you know, there's some cliches out there that says perception is everything, and um, I don't necessarily buy into that cliche because perception and image is not everything because those can be spun, and people have to realize that big corporations pay image consultants and and all these different companies to, to give the right perception and to spin the perception that they want given out there to the public so all I can hope is that people realize that that perception is not always reality and then besides that the only thing I can ask for is that the people that I played for um, the Duke fans all, all you want as an athlete is you want your home base your fans to love you to like you to appreciate your game to respect how hard you played for them and that's all I can ask for is for the Duke fans to love me um, I can't expect Carolina fans or Kentucky right. fans to exactly. love me, exactly because you're you're always playing against them. You're always a competitor, and you might be beating them. So, um, I think the movie did a great job at maybe exposing some of those myths, and you know, giving the the main message of hey, don't be a hater. Image and perception is not everything, and um, it did a really good job showing a different side of me. You know. The response on social media, on Twitter and Facebook has just been overwhelming. And so many people say, you know, I love the end when you were with your son and when you were with your family. And, you know, it, 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 showed, it showed you being a normal human being, a normal person, and that was really great to see. You know, I think and you won, Christian. That was the big, big problem. People, there's going to be hatred and resentment when people win all the time. I, I see Tom Brady as a, as a modern-day version of that. Now, I was wondering, though, how it made you feel to see Duke this year again come through in the clutch and in the big moment because that's what you were so much about. I'm not saying there's any real connection, but it is sort of a continuation of something that you started. To see Duke continue to rise to the moment and be great competitors that, uh, such as you. Well, once you're in the Duke family, you're always in the Duke family. So, uh, so anytime they win and do well, even if it's 25 years later, you're, you're tickled pink. And um, I was at the Final Four this year. I was there. The hotel I was staying in was one block away from the Duke Hotel. So I actually went over there on Sunday morning, and I, I ate breakfast with the team and saw the trainer because I had, like, a muscle spasm in my neck. And it, it was just great being there again and, and being involved with the team and feeling like I'm part of the family. And Coach K was nice enough to let me into the breakfast meeting on Sunday morning. So, you know, once you're in there and once you're part of the family, you're always around, and that's what Coach K does a great job, making you feel like you're important, make you, making you feel like you're a part of the family. And then to be there and to see them win and to play so well and all these freshmen, and then especially Grayson Allen, who's a kid from Jacksonville, Florida, where I live now, it was just great to see him have a great game in the finals. It was great to see all those young basketball Duke players uh, win another championship. And then, you know, of course, I'm just so happy for Coach K and the whole program because, um, you know, that's my life, Duke basketball and the Duke program. And it's been that way for 25 years. So I'm, I couldn't be any more thrilled than I am that they won another championship. All right, listen, Christian, thanks a lot for coming on the show. I want to uh, remind everybody again, uh, Christian Leitner's Basketball Academy at Nichols is July 13th and 14th and 15th this summer, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Nichols. And you can sign up online. Yes. Christian, go yes, ahead. Yes, they can, they can sign up online. They can sign up on the Nichols School website, okay? It'll be up and ready and live in a few days. It'll be up on my website, ready and live, to register in a few days. Uh, my website is theclba.com, T-H-E-C-L-B-A.com. And I look forward to seeing everyone there at Nichols again and all the campers and having a fun three days of basketball. Sounds good, Christian. Thanks, and I'll catch up with you when you're in, when you're in town. Christian Leitner, everybody. Thanks, Christian. Thanks a lot for coming on.
All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, we're going to come back, Sully, and uh, just touch on the NBA and the NHL.